What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Allie for short. So a while ago, I actually made a video shoot. I think it was how to reduce lag in The Sims 4 and that did really well. And I actually got some questions about reshade actually um, and how to install reshade, which I cannot live without reshade in my game. Like it is just like, I just can't like for some reason without reshade, um, Sims 4 just seems really dull to me and I need that uh, pop of color. If you don't know what reshade is, basically it's kind of like um, an external, uh, I don't know how you can say it, like plugin that you can download and put in pretty much any game to uh, just make your game brighter um, or not even just brighter, just anything you want really. Um, and a lot of, a lot of creators in the Sims community have made um certain presets that you can use in your game so you don't have to like make your own you can download one um off of tumblr that you really like i i see a lot on tumblr that i'm just like oh so good so now that i told you guys what reshade is we are going to download it so go ahead and go to this website right here it will be in the description below and you're gonna see like a purple download button click that and it's going to take you down here you're going to want to click download reshade 4.9.1 is the version that it's in now um it might be different by the time you see this video but you're just going to want to click that um and it should show up as a reshade setup down here so once you've downloaded it go ahead and click on the reshade setup and click this box right here go to browse and then this pc windows c program files 86 Go down to Origin Games, The Sims 4, scroll down to Game, Bin, and then click on The Sims 4 64-bit. Now, if there's just The Sims 4 and nothing after it, do not click that. Always click the one that has 64 after it. So do Open, and then it's going to ask you which rendering API does The Sims 4 use. Select the first one, which is Direct3D9. And then it's gonna ask me if I wanna update it just because I already have it installed. Um, so I'm gonna do update. And then you're gonna see um, a list of shaders and it's gonna ask you if you wanna install any of these. Now, I don't just because I prefer more simple reshades that don't have a lot of shaders and whatnot. So it depends on the reshade you're gonna get. Some of them do require some of these and some don't. Um, I prefer not to download all of them. That's your choice. So go ahead and do OK. And then it's going to show you all of these um, effects kind of or shaders. Click OK. And your reshade setup was successful. So now a reshade will be in your game. So I'm over here at Max's Match CC World. If you don't know what that is, you're living under a rock. OK, because this is the best place for CC. Um, but I'm going to link uh, this website down below and I'm going to go to reshade presets and there are a ton a ton of presets now a lot of these uh do require um some more shaders and may not work on um a a low-end pc so uh, you can look you can take a look at these if you want to but i totally recommend um ocean sims has made a few good ones urban sims has made a few good ones that's the only two that i know that don't like literally break your game um but go ahead and choose whatever you want i currently use ocean sims preset i think it's called simple sim but i like kind of tweaked it a little bit to make it more vibrant um but i will list uh ocean sims and urban sims presets down below so you can check those out you can check these out too but they're kind of crazy you gotta make that decision for yourself okay so when you download your preset it's gonna look like this with this little icon with the gear on it so let's see i'm going to go ahead and copy it and then to put that preset into your game you're gonna do the same exact thing that you did earlier so go to this pc Windows, Program Files, uh, where is it? Origin Games, Sims 4, Game, Bin. And you're gonna see, if you installed it correctly, Reshade Shaders should be here, as well as this Reshade um, file right here. So, you're just gonna wanna move that uh, preset into the bin file. 
and now you will have this preset in your game. So once you open The Sims 4, you're gonna see uh, this thing at the top, this gray bar, and it's gonna say reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. So just go on your keyboard and press the home key. And it's gonna show you uh, this, just kind of like a welcome message. So I personally skip the tutorial because, like, I don't want to, I don't want to have to deal with like all the fancy stuff. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Okay, I'm done. But I would just skip the tutorial. So you're gonna see this. You're gonna see this big gray box. So go to the top, right here, and then find that dot ini file that you downloaded. So the preset that you downloaded. Mine was Ocean Sims Simple Sim. So I'm gonna click on that and then do select. And now it will actually be in your game. So this is what my reshade actually looks like in game, which um, I did edit it a little bit. So it's a little bit more vibrant than Ocean Sims version, um, but it's just so colorful and beautiful and I just love it. So um, if you kind of want to see what difference it makes in your game, you can press that home button again, and then you're gonna want to go to settings. And then where it says effect toggle key, you can choose the key on your keyboard that will kind of toggle the reshade effects. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do the end key for the effect toggle. So go ahead and just um, escape out of that, do home. And so when I press the end key, so this is the reshade and this is the game without. Reshade, game without, which I, I totally forgot the end key was like, going up and down but it's fine so yeah like this i mean the game's fine you know it's okay but it's like super dull to me i don't know why but reshade bam super bright super crazy colorful Ugh, i just love it i love reshade and if you're kind of like not vibing too well with the reshade you can just go back and go to home and there's a bunch of different effects that you can use and kind of mess with um you know, it's up to you. It's up to you whether you prefer super vibrant and colorful or kind of more on um, the chill kind of laid back side. You can really customize it to whatever you want. That was my tutorial on how to download and install Reshade. I really hope that um, it might help some of you because I know when I first downloaded Reshade, I was like, what the heck? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and as always subscribe for more videos. I love y'all. Bye.